Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another In The Lab video. You guys have probably been seeing how I've been making all these crazy wall crawling layups with a lot of English on it. Everybody calls it something different. I want to show you some drills that I use to help me get better at it. Now, before we get into all the wall crawling drills, I want to talk to you guys about something. So, I'm making chapter two at 10,000 hours right now, and I'm making a transition from Final Cut to Premiere, but I don't know Premiere like that. So I went on Skillshares.com, and it taught me everything that I need to know just to how to like do all the editing tricks that I want to do. It was step-by-step -step tutorials from a bunch of different people that I watched, and it seamlessly helped me make that transition. Now, what I recommend is if there's something out there that you want to learn, Skillshare probably has it. Just go on there and search it. But for me, I know a lot of people that follow me are getting into editing. Go on Skillshare.com right now and they have everything that you need to learn step by step. And you know, they're good instructors too. Like these are pretty good people that I, you know, highly recommend. Now what I'll do is for the first 1,000 people that click the link in my description, you'll get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership which will get you started on the right track. Now, there's a lot of things that you could be doing. I, I, you know I love basketball, but there are other things out there for you to learn. Go on Skillshare.com and find what it could be your passion. You never know. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so you got two minutes to make 50 reverse. You got it? All right, three, two, one, let's go. Off to a bad start here. Get on the little street. There you go. You get warmed up by doing this. Make sure you guys keep count. I mean, you got, <laughs> you're not on track at all. Find that spot on the backboard and just put it that way every time. Not spinning it yet, just throwing it straight in. You guys got one minute. Forty-five seconds. One up, y'all. Gotta have to catch a little streak here. So that's where you got the mask. You got thirty seconds. Fifteen. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. What'd you get? Forty-five. So forty-five is bad. You gotta get to at least fifty. Fifty. Fifty to fifty-five is like. Or fifty-five is good. All right. So we got thirty head right under the rim, jumping off of one leg. Spinning the ball. You got one minute and 25 seconds to make 30. All right, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Spinning it now. Unbelievable. I think we found it. Losing the Try to find a little street. You know who I am. 35. 40. 
You guys got to a minute 25 to finish. Sometimes you work on spinning all the way to the outside. Perhaps only the dead child. As much spin as you can. We're at one minute right now. Trying to get to 30. Almost done. Five, four, three, two. One, what'd you get? Huh? 31. All right, so now you're to the outside of the backboard. So now you're gonna shoot the ball right here. Like lay the ball up right there. Then go over here, you're gonna finish all the way to the outside. You guys got it? So don't stand right, don't release the ball right underneath the basket. Five, oh wait, hold on, you got one minute, 10 seconds to make 30. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Spin it. Get all the way to the outside. Spin it, spin it. that bass, you gotta get all the way over there. Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, so next one, we gotta jump and then hang and then finish, all right? Spin it off the backboard. You're jumping off of two feet. Jumping off two feet. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. There you go. Finish it. Get it up. Got 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, now we're going for the backwards uh, jumps. So you're gonna start, each time I'll, I'll do a few for you. So each time you're gonna start here and then jump backwards right there and then come right here finish right there ball a few steps away from the basket then i'm going to go into my split footwork then i'm going to jump backwards then i'm going to finish take a dribble out here gotta work on that side dribble out here and, oh. you guys see it so just go all the way until you're, you want to face this way, or like more diagonal this way, and then jump backwards right there. One, let's go. Take that dribble. There you go, look. Almost. Get a little bit closer. Too far, too far out. Yep. You get it right there.
invent it. As much as you can, Chris. There you go. Got 25 seconds. Left starting to look good. Right knee work. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so this one will be the toughest one. So you're gonna take a, you're gonna jump up. I'll just go with 10 for right now. Let's make 10, see how long it takes you to make 10. Jump up, touch the net, then go out and spin it. All right, let's try it out. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. There you go, you almost got it. Keep working on it. Got it. Close. He working. When you get this, you, you for sure got it. Get that ball. Sorry, don't worry about it. It's like real close. You gotta put it like on the backboard though. When it spins, it'll just go straight. There you go. Perfect. Last one, we're jump stopping. Then we're gonna face this way on the finish. All right, it's important that you extend out that way for the finish. Jump stop. What's time? Oh. Oh, he's. Time. What's time? Okay, so if you stick with those drills in no time, you will get a lot better at those type of finishes. What I did is I just worked on it every day. It's a really short workout, but it'll help you get used to just putting a ball on the backboard and allowing it to spin in and just finding the touch. Do not get frustrated if you're not making as many as you want to or you can't find a spin. If you need more help, 
download the academy, all right? I got a lot of stuff on there and I teach you exactly how I learn how to do those exact finishes from the touch, how you're supposed to hold the ball, all that type of stuff. And don't think you need big hands just to do these type of finishes. Yes, it does help, but you don't need it.